Hi again, people out there. We're keeping the train rolling on the road to saving our known universe. As ever, if you remember, we were in the Bionis interior. As you may be able to tell by the time, we've nearly been going for 10 hours. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. I know it doesn't seem like that long, but this game is so fun and interesting, I think it just flies by. So, let's keep going with this. Oh, need to click on the window. Ha ha. There we go. Okay, uh, saved it again, just for good measure. <laughs> Let's go! What wonders may await in this spooky, eerie area? There's only one way to find out. Fight! I'm in the third lung. Now, I'm no scientist or biologist, but... How would we know it was the third lung if we've only been in one of them? We couldn't. That's how. There's a knob on there. Well, go save yourself. I never expected to see anyone else in this place. You want to go up to the top? Wait until the water washes up. It'll shoot you up really high. Mmm, we're swimming in pussy by honest juices. Here we go! Whee Ow! Uh, it's all squishy underfoot. The upper trachea. We're coming out of the barnacle's mouth, ear, nose. Oh. Oh, looks like they're making a new one. Mm, a lady. Face Nemesis. Your frame is complete. All that remains is the soul transfer. <gasps> that sounds like a solely good idea. <laughs> that damage. Does a weapon exist that can meld the face armor? Yes. Oh. Lady Venerea, Master Egil wishes to see you. Egil, Egil. Understood. Tell him I will see him when this face is complete. Acknowledged. Oh. I have fulfilled my duty. <laughs> you and only you can bring about a new age on Maconis. No, the entire world. I'm not ready for that Maconis. kind of pressure. Lady Maynath. Save current progress. If I knew there was a save current progress thing there, I probably wouldn't have cut the last part to that point. I <laughs> uh, could have survived an extra couple of minutes. Machnapath! We're in the forest! We're in the forest, people. Are you ready for a glorious forest? Oh, I think I might be able to get... um. I'll be able to get Sharla her new headdress. I could put everyone in a tribal outfit, really. I'll go with the theme of the area. Blending in. I 
Another really beautiful area in this game. Oh. Oh, we're getting a cutscene, not a, a show of the area. Oh. It's pissed. She's a lady! Those are stupid names. Hoggard. Who turned up the heat? I've never seen such a dense forest. Me neither. How much further? Are we nearly there yet? By honest. If Shulk's vision is right, we've still got a long way to go. You mean go on in this heat? I'm sweatier than a brog's armpit. We have to nice. the best route. Sadly, until we find a way, we'll have to put up with Ryan stench. Charla? Aww! Oh, you're supposed to defend me, woman! You're supposed to say, nah, Ryan, you don't smell at all. Gutted. We must be outside the tower. Welcome, true heir to the Monado. Weak, weak and pathetic. What or who are you? You will pay for what you've done. So is him right? You will know the pain and suffering you cause the Emperor and Fiora. Hmm, it's kind of familiar. I'd never seen. If only I could find out what they mean. We could use them to our advantage. Hmm. Look over there. A yeah, bridge. bridge. A bridge. It looks Homs made. Not Homs. Nopon. Though a lot of them have settled in our colonies, the Nopon are originally native to Magna Forest. You think they'd know the way to the Bionis head? Uh, I can't say. But walking around in circles isn't going to achieve anything. Our nope. best bed is to look for their village. Ah, uh, the old Machna Forest. Didn't do it in time. We can definitely do this. I expected a tougher battle. Let's keep on going like this, guys. Oh, Mac and a cap. Do I get one for free? Oh no, that's wrong. Cool. Yeah, I had Charlotte with that headdress for ages. I completely forgot her what her original hair looked like. 
I can also equip a gem to it. If I've got any spare. Strength gem. <laughs> Look at all the strength up gems she's got. <laughs> it's like, don't die, Charla. Please. Oh, good, good lord, what? We need to kill this Iluka thing. Tense for a second. Oh. Oh, it doesn't have any slots. Oh, I've already got an iron gear. like we're going to be rolling Machna style. <laughs> oh, I got one naturally. <laughs> yeah, that matches. <laughs> Why not? Fan service for Dunban fans. Uh, yeah, no. I was wearing iron boots, but he's got an agility gem in them, I think. Uh, 
lead defense. Uh, that's the only one I can equip. Oh, I can probably upgrade some abilities while I'm here now. Go do some Monado. Oh, let's max out my Monado Buster. My Monado Shield. And my Monado Enchant. I never really paid much attention to Monado Speed. I never really found much use for it. This is the kind of stuff I should really do in between parts. <laughs> Save time. I just filled up just right. I think when I get to a suitable location, I'll probably um just run back and I'll probably have enough money to buy those extra things for Dunban so I can raise them up some more. I suppose if I could say one thing about this game, this bit could be a little bit faster. It's like, it's like saying, do you really want to upgrade this? It's like, yeah, of course I do. <laughs> That's why I clicked on it. Let's pour a bit more into the wild down. We'll get another one out of that. You upgrade it and it takes less time for it to recharge and stuff. Work of art. Hmm. Shulk can get abilities from Dunvan. Nope. Can you get more ability from Ryan? Nope. Anything from Sharla? Increase agility. Good. Yeah, no more points. No. No. More HP is restored when reviving a party member. Boost physical defense and ether defense. Yeah. No. Don't have enough affinity coins anyway. Anyway, let's make me a little bit stronger. Uh, if I talk to you, you're just going to be like, oh, can you take out some enemy? There's lots of fiery hungry monsters in the Monk Forest. I want to get to the village. I want to get back to the village. Can you kill some for me? Kill some jungle quad wings. Yeah, I'm sure I can do that. If anybody sees a jungle quad ring. Bridge one. It's, it's just huge. I mean, it goes on all the way that way. And there's like ethereal effects in the sky. And it goes off that way. You can jump into this water and swim all the way up to this waterfall. This waterfall basin is enormous. It's like swimming around a real waterfall basin. 
if anyone would ever do that, but they wouldn't. But it is absolutely... I did it. I did it my first time around. I'm not going to do it this time, because it will just bore everybody to tears. But it just went on forever. I don't want to go through the forest at night. It's scary at night. Early morning. It's a level above me. Waypoint Beacon. Isn't there a way? Now... There are loads of monsters in there. I don't think it would be in my best interest to run up there since they're all about the same level as me. Ugh, it's itchy eye. Resisting my break attacks. Oh, hang on a 
there's something wrong with my controller. It's sort of drifting the character's left. Probably lent on it when I turn the computer on. Peachy leg joint. We can't lose. I don't want anyone dying out there. Make it a swift victory. Electric gun. Thank you, Dunbar. Worldly spread. He doesn't know which way to face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I got that battle scene again because I cut it off before. It's just nice because I'm hearing new things. I mean, they might not be new to you, but they're kind of new to me because I sort of, for the first like 20 to 30 hours of the game, I just stuck with Ryan, Sharla, and Shulk because it just seemed like the safest option. I'm trying to do things a little bit differently now to keep it fresh for me and obviously it will still be fresh for all you watching but it makes it a bit more interesting for me to replay by doing different things, things that I didn't do before. Oh what? <laughs> Gold chest. We make a great team. Cool. We like gold chests. <sighs> Some Magna shoes, Katori staff, and a Dawn staff. Those look like weapons for a character that I don't quite have yet. Perhaps yes. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, Charles is going super tribal. It would seem. Maybe I should have just gotten her a Mac and a top, just for the sake of being completely unified. Uh, I don't have any more gems. I think after this part, I'm going to go away by myself and just get the, the gem making thing. And then we can get gems going on the run. Electric Dust Buster!
Yes, Charlotte, let's stay focused. No showers. How's my collectopedia doing? Oh! Sleep resist. Oh, I suppose. Put the rest of the things in, man. See that Machna Brog's only level 30. <laughs> More ash foxes. Except Brian, who's not tribal at all. A girl! Hey, are you okay? You. She was in my vision! Shulk, what's wrong? Another vision? Kind of. I'm not sure. But first, she needs help. You're right. Let's look for somewhere safe. How about uh? I see a clearing under a giant tree. We yes, we won't be ex anything approaching. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll carry her. Or anything approaching can easily see you. She hasn't sustained any serious injuries, but her condition is far from stable. Do you know what's wrong with her? Her symptoms suggest ether deficiency. It's well known that Homs is strongly affected by ether levels in the environment. But I've never seen symptoms like this before. Hmm. A sudden drop in ether content in the surrounding atmosphere causes a reaction. Symptoms range from fatigue to nausea. But in this girl's case... What can we do? We're gonna need watertight ether crystals. I'll load the crystals into a cartridge to shoot from my rifle. Eh? You, you're gonna shoot her? No, silly. I'll fire them into the air and the dispersed ether will heal her. Ah. Uh, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, um, I knew that. Crystals. We can't just use any old crystal. They must be as pure as possible. This area must have a water source nearby. We should search there first. Mm. I spotted a waterfall a little way back. What do you think, Charlotte? Would a waterfall produce pure crystals? I can't think of a better place. Then it's decided. I'll search for the crystals. Hey, you're not going on your own. I'll be okay. I need you to look after the group. We're short on... Hey, good idea. Oh, skipping Take scenes. Care, Don't be so impatient, man. Shortcut. <laughs> ah, fast travel. Saving us tons of time. How do I get down and round? I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I know what I'm doing, man. Yeah, there'll be a few enemies around here. Hopefully nothing I can't defeat by just running past. <laughs> Ooh. 
Ooh, there's an edge there. Where's down? That way. I think I'm just strong enough for a lot of things not to bother harassing me. Aha! I say aha, I knew all this was here anyway. I remember! Lakeside. I got the special ether crystals. Hello. Hello. How unusual. It is quite rare to see a Homs in this region. I... <laughs> I suppose you're wondering why I am here in that case. Then permit me to introduce myself. My name is Alvis. Alvis? Um, my name's... It's Shul. Isn't it? Uh, how did you know that? I know many things. The Monado, defender of Colony Nine, the hero that has every mech on running. You're famous amongst all Homs. Uh -huh. I know you from somewhere. They're here. Huh? The Monado emits a particular ether wavelength in its ground state. It must have drawn them. Oh. Huh? Oh. Oh. What are they? Alvis, get out of the way! I'll deal with this myself. Before it struck, how can it? It is a telethia. Telethia. They can read your mind, whether you have a vision or not. If they know your next move, it's all in vain. You, you know about my visions. How could you possibly? There is only one way. Stop it in its tracks. Then dull its perception. No, Alvin, stop! You don't know how to... Huh? A new symbol? I suggest you stop staring. The sword is... <sighs> he sneaks up behind you, like Slender Man. Only more... handsome. I... control it. By the light of the Monado. I will stop them. Okay. 
New ability! Incoming! Purge! Are you attacking only me? Good job they don't hit that hard. Ha-ha! Well, you see now, Shulk? Hmm. Thank you. Hey! Wait a second. <laughs> Importantly, where on Bionis did you learn to use the Monado? <laughs> they were not the primary Telethia. Don't answer Nearly me. Spawn. The primary Telethia dwells elsewhere in Magna Forest. Is it wounded? I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest, wounded by a girl. A girl? The Monado is a divine sword capable of disturbing the very fabric of existence, of both the material and the immaterial. Alvis, how do you know so much about the Monado? Who are you? Shulk! Shulk! Huh? That's Ryan. I'm over here! Shulk, we looked all over for you. I thought you'd been eaten by the forest. Sorry, Ryan. I got attacked by Telethia. If it hadn't been for Alvis, I wouldn't have survived. Alvis? Who's that? I'll introduce you. He's the one that 
Alvis? What the fuck? Uh, there's no one here. <laughs> I'm telling you, he was right here. He even taught me how to unlock a new power from the Monado. Just you and me, Shulk. Ain't no one else around. You probably passed out from dehydration and dreamt this guy up. Come on. Wait till the others hear this. <laughs> he was here, Ryan. I didn't dream it. I'm not lying. Okay, okay. I believe you. <laughs> and while you were having fun with your imaginary friend, did you find any ether crystals? Yes. Good quality ones, too. Perfect. Come on. We should hurry them back to Charlotte. Hang around here long enough and we'll get whacked by an imaginary beast. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, you jerk. <laughs> He's just hiding behind those ether crystals. <coughs> he's a mysterious, but is he good? Or is he bad? An enemy that renders your visions useless. This forest holds many surprises. Not least creatures we've never seen before. And now we know there is another who can use the Monado. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to meet him. So you weren't just having a sneaky nap then? <laughs> no. I'm just saying. You and Dunban are the only ones I know that can wield the Monado. How would this guy know how? Okay. Locked and loaded. Everyone, stand back. Like you need to aim. He's just shooting upwards. Oh, so pretty. <gasps> wow. Unbelievable. Yeah. She's coming round. All thanks to our medic. Whoop! <laughs> Everything's fine. You're gonna be... <gasps> Get your hands off me! <laughs> Slap! Ah, hey, watch it! F forgive me. I... I did not mean to... Uh, sorry if we surprised you. Are you the ones who helped me? Well, something like that. Excuse me. My name is Melia. Forgive my indiscretion. I have not had the pleasure of coming into contact with the male Homs. Coming into contact? Hey, Shulk, you're creeping this lady out. Mm. Shut up, Ryan. <laughs> this large one is far worse. Me? <laughs> <laughs> Me? Melia, is it? How did you get here, then? What, is there no one with you? I must apologize, but my situation does not concern you. And I shall not be divulging anything to common passers-by. Duly noted, your ladyship. But if I were to be so bold, I'm guessing that you didn't come here alone. And you weren't just taking an afternoon nap. <laughs> and what, may I ask, are you doing here? It is rare to see Homs venture this deep into Machna Forest. We're traveling to the head of the Bionis. We've got a long journey ahead of us. The head of the Bionis. We were just figuring out how to get there when we found you. I see. Then permit me to return the favor by aiding you in your quest. Really? There is only one path to the head of the Bionis. It is the path that leads to Erith Sea. So, this Erith Sea is at the head of the Bionis. If you would be kind enough to escort me out of the forest, I will show you the way. You... you do that? Thank you, Melia. I'm Shulk. Pleased to meet you. Shulk? Ah, oh, yes. Likewise. Yes. She's a bit high and mighty. But she's a Homs too, right? Why is she here alone? Ain't got a clue. Ask her yourself. I'm not good with her posh accent. We are not amused.
We shall tra travel to the Nopon village. Nopon village? That's where we've been headed. We reckon it's our best chance of making it to the top. Since inhabiting the region, the Nopon have been a great help. You can travel to Eric Sea from their village. It's settled. We'll make our way to the Nopon village. Very well. The Nopon inhabit a giant tree. If we follow this trail, we will be safe. Cool. Sounds like a plan. I like safe plans. <laughs> uh, okay, I've got a Machina Forest Jewel and count monsters with spike abilities. These monsters can automatically deal damage and inflict debuffs on parties under certain circumstances. Fantastic. And I can do it. I can purge that ability. I never really used Melia much in this game. Only sort of when I'd gotten to a sufficiently overpowered kind of level. Jungle quad ring. Pretty red flowers. Trample the flowers. Stick into the path. Stick into the path. A gravel disc. I mean, a, a flat stone. Weird. It's like a dinosaur, but it's got a head on its head. Yeah! Ooh. 
Nearly there. We make a great team. Let's stay focused. Not on gear. Oh, Nepal gear. Yeah. Oh, she can't wear it. Oh, nobody can wear anything. The current equipment cannot be removed. Okay, I can't do anything with Melia at the moment. It's, uh, it's, I don't want to wear a helmet. <laughs> That's one of the biggest problems with me, when there's like a, when you have something amazing like your equipment changes the way your character looks. A big part of my decisions in equipment is not just based on how good they are, it's what they look like. <laughs> it's sort of like, the last time I played this game, it sort of, I, w I was quite frequently just not using the strongest equipment because it just didn't look very nice. Break! What do you mean, Sharla? Oh, Dunban is in there. Well, Dunban's nearly got a new ability. Peachy leg joint. Delicious. Right, let's do this. I don't want anyone dying out there. Make it a swift victory. Thank you, A love biter and cool oil. Love biter sounds like a weapon that I can't use. Yeah, it's it's spoilers. It's another weapon for a character that I don't have. <laughs> you know what? Fine. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Where's the path? Don't lose the path, you'll get lost forever in a jungle that is never ending. Oh my god. Oh, it's just gone up a couple of levels. Electric. 
Good job I got that Monado blasting in time. Not bad at all. We make a great team. Floppy crest. Going the wrong way. Yeah. Twisted tree gate. Oh yes, there's a a deadly route in there with orcs and ogres and stuff. Hmm. So like if I wanna Be able to take him down. As long as I don't encourage the other one down. No, I didn't want to purge. Fell on me. That wasn't so bad. Anyway, that's not the way I need to go anyway. I need to go up here. To the Nopon village. Okay. Ah! That monster was in the bridge and I couldn't get past it. <laughs> It's immune to topple. A oh, what? I can't go on. I don't like that. That'll do. Good to go. We can definitely do this. What? I didn't want to fight that monster anyway. I just wanted to get across the bloody bridge. Stupid shield didn't work. Okay, now let me get past. Oh, it's only level 96. It is quite nice, nice variety. Because obviously there would be... There we go. That's all I wanted to do. I didn't want to go down there and fight that guy anyway. This is the entrance to Frontier Village. 
So this big tree is where the knock on lives. Yep. Ah, bird lady. Welcome back, bird lady. I wish to speak with the village chief. Will you permit us to enter? What's he going to do? Stop him with his beach ball body? I shall take you to the village chief. Follow me. Okay. The knock on are quite cute and fluffy. with your chief. Chief, will you hear my request? Melia here. Bird lady here. Uh, Melia back. Bird lady back. Bird lady? My dear Melia, it's good to see you again so soon. And you look so well. And what of your men? They are at one with the Bionis. They sacrificed their lives so that I might escape. But th this is not my reason for coming. These Homs need your help. Will you be so kind as to listen to their request? What could a Hum Hum need of me? What indeed? By a safe passage to Ererith Sea. I see no reason to deny them. And Melia. What of you? I have unfinished business in this region. Once these Homs are safely on their way, I shall be on mine as well. That girl. Something's troubling her. We found her half dead and all alone. But I don't suppose she'll tell us the reason any time soon. Maybe we can help. I'll go and talk to her. Have a have a heart to heart. Shop. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's uh, check out the old collectopedia. Don't want to sell anything. Twin tree vest? Yeah, sure. Same for Dunban. Ah, oh, good for everyone. School shoes. What are they doing with school shoes? Okay. Oh, let's uh, do some equipment changing and then some equipment selling. <laughs> Almost back to normal attire.
it's getting worse. I think I prefer that. Okay. Let's go through the, the lovely... Oh, we leveled up from that. It's pretty good. Let's see. Oh, it's got three. Might need those, might need that, don't know. <laughs> Just bought those. Selling things. Keep the important things. Obviously, like I always say, keep the important things. Oh, that's all stuff for. good as a shulk's gonna get right let's give him a mac and a top which will nah okay I think I'm done Isn't one of these guys a weapon shop, not just an armour shop? Hmm. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I've got to go up. Ah, oh, there's a weapon shop. more things.
<laughs> Just leveling up. <coughs> this place is huge, man. I hope you can see me. Everyone's leveling up so well. Just finding stuff. It's good getting experience doing this. Nope. Pollen works. Huh. Ricky's house, eh? It's not down there. Still going up. Don't fall off. It's a long way down. How many games have areas like this? That don't sort of have loading screens between each floor. It just keeps going and going. <laughs> oh no, it's 104 this way. Uh, keep going up. Mysterious Sanctuary. Oh. There she is. Melia, you're welcome to come with us. Is it true? Were you alone in the forest? <laughs> that thing must be stopped by my hand. This is my pledge to those that have died. Is it wounded? I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest, wounded by a girl. Wounded by a girl? You don't mean you're going to fight the Telethia? <gasps> How do you know of the Telethia? When I went to collect the ether crystals, some Telethia attacked me. I managed to destroy them and get away. You defeated Telethia. Who... who are you? I'm just awesome. The Monado. So that sword can... To tell the truth, they were the Telethia spawn. Someone told me the primary Telethia is healing somewhere in the forest. It was you, wasn't it? You hurt the Telethia. It... Melia... The Telethia escaped from our homeland, and I am tasked with killing it. It cannot remain free. For the sake of my people and the Nopon, it must be stopped. Melia, we can help you defeat it if you like. Out of pity? No. Why then? It's just... I... I want... Speak, Shulk. Or I shall be forced to summon the Nopon chief to interpret for me. Ho oh. <laughs> Would like to help. What could you possibly gain from aiding me? I saw it. At the top of a black tower. You and I were fighting together. Fighting that faced Mekon. I also saw you fighting a huge Telethia. It threw me the first time and all. Forgive me, Shulk, but what are you talking about? Shulk can see visions of the future. See the future? And you expect me to believe this rubbish? Believe what you want, lady. Same as I tell all the non-believers. <laughs> That'll be me, then. Oh, yeah! In any case, the only reason we got this far was because of Shulk's visions. If Shulk says he saw you in a vision, then you must be important to whatever happens next. And if you're tough enough to fight a face mech on, you're all right in my book. You've got my vote. A lady should not go unaccompanied onto the battlefield. Excuse me? I... I am quite capable of dispatching the beast alone. <gasps> I require no assistance of any kind. My dear, I apologize, but I could not help overhearing. Their offer sounds quite reasonable. The danger extends much further than our small dwelling. Machna itself is at risk, and we shall provide you with the finest warrior of our clan. The finest warrior. Uh, no need for thanks. He is the equal, if not better, of the Hom-Hom. You do know we're listening. 
It's like a flame right behind Melia, and it looks like she's on fire. Don't be like that. Let's meet him first. He's a little guy. Uh, I don't really want to jump off the top. <laughs> I think I can just... Here we go. Fast travel! <laughs> May I introduce... Herapon Ricky! Oh, what's that? Get off me! Oh, to you! Solid! Right Spike dunk! Why are they throwing mushrooms at their hero? I introduce to you this year's legendary Herapon, Ricky! <laughs> <laughs> right. I like how they've got like little arms and then they've got ears which are also arms. <laughs> A hero con you say. Not sure where you'll come in handy, but the more the merrier. So they won't take Juju, <laughs> but they take a little furball. Yeah, they're quick as lightning and can read your mind. A mind reading giant bird. No problem. No problem. Ah. Through the Monado. But even that's not enough to get the better of them. And we're going up against the daddy version. No one blink for a second. Okay. Eyes wide open. And don't forget that Melia is our only chance of making it to Eric's sea. If anything happens to our guy, it's on our heads. The Teleletia is our target. But don't forget about the person standing next to you. Dumbbands right. I am in your debt. My weaknesses are all too apparent. No worries, Melia. No worries, man. Ricky has been informed of the Dino Beast. What you refer to as the Talethia. Be safe, my Hom Hom friends. Ricky's friends, listen to Ricky. Dino Beast is big and scary. Big and scary! Friends, get ready. Friends, help Ricky get ready. You want us to get equipment for you? Ricky's friend, right? Hum hum clever. Friends meet Ricky when ready. Then, friends and Ricky leave together. Big attitude for a furry footrest. Heh <laughs> is big and scary. Great. That'll come in handy. Is it just me, or did we suddenly become knock-on mercenaries? <laughs> Okay. Got to get things for Ricky. Next floor. Becky's going to kill Dino Beast? Becky gonna need good weapon. Good luck here upon Ricky.
Is that it? Oh, okay. Ready to go? Come, new friends. Ricky's adventure begins. Ricky, you do know where the Telethia is, don't you? Of course, Ricky, no. Melly, Ricky, here you hurt Dino Beast. I did, but only a little. When Dino Beast hurt, Ricky, no, it go to place with Ether Crystals. Friends and Ricky go to place with crystals. Then we find Dino Beast. Chief, tell Ricky. Chief, always right. So you do know a thing or two about this monster. Guess we'll be searching for some Ether Crystals then. Ricky, why are you the Hereupon? Why? Because Chief Dunga chose Ricky. He chose you? So you weren't chosen from birth? Friend wrong. Chief chose by instinct. Instinct. <laughs> by instinct? Why, friend, surprised? Chief have sharp instinct. Chief be village seer. So that's how you became the Hereupon. Can't argue with that. But he is kind of... compact. For a warrior hero. It's got a most complimentary way of saying you're really small. If Ricky defeat Dino Beast, Village promised to forget my debts. So Ricky like It's a compact hero. He's like a little egg. A furry egg. I think I've actually got other equipment I could use on Ricky straight off the bat, haven't I? Look at that. Whoa! <laughs> Holy crumbs! <laughs> He's just got huge claw hands. <coughs> Let's go with that for cutscenes, though. So am I what am I what am I doing? It's not pointing me in a direction. Maybe when I try and leave the area it'll um give me something. What's this over here? Can't climb that, can I? No. I'll probably have to leave the Hereupon village and then it'll be like, oh, now we've got to find some place else to go. Entry bridge. Ah, now I've got a landmark. Okay then, I think that's a, a good place to stop for this part. Thanks for watching again. Just save that up and we'll... God damn, look at those huge enemies down there. Yawning. Uh. All right. So yeah, I think we've uh, made some good progress today, if I don't say so myself. So um, let's get that all saved up. Nope, that's not saving. Okay then, right. 
see you next time, guys, for the next exciting instalment of Xenoblade Chronicles.